Yeah, we got it. Welcome to Monday Night's Tilt and Talk Show on a Tuesday, which is why Chris is probably getting all the buttons wrong because he's been on holiday yet again. Um, welcome back anyway from your travels abroad. And of course, we're uh, playing under the floodlights down at Griffin Park tonight against Brentford. Kickoff is in about uh, 10 or 12 minutes' time. So we're going to do a different kind of format to the show tonight. Quick 15 minute start. And then we're going to come back at half time. And then for a full time analysis, going through to around 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, great, can't wait. Oh, it's nice to do a different format, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, mix it up nice a bit. Format. Uh, I've got to say a very special thanks to uh, Ray, Ray Hobbro there, for supplying me my incognito nose and moustache and uh, large glasses. We'll be wearing them through the night, I'm sure. Um, OK, so we've got like a quick 10 minutes then. Uh, round up on the ladies very first, because we had a, a bit of a bad result the weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, look. Man City at home is always a tough game, but um, yeah, we we were two 0 up uh, just after half time. Um, not playing very well at all. Man City were awful. We were we didn't have to be anywhere near our best to get two 0 up, but unfortunately um, we we couldn't hold on to that lead. We sat back a bit and and ended up losing three two in the end, which was which was unfortunate. Game, though, you know, Man City is not going to be an easy task at any time. Yeah, the, so. you know. The 11, any 11 Man City put out is always going to be a really difficult game. Um, but at the end of the day, we we weren't anywhere near our best. And it's frustrating that if we, if we were anywhere near our best... What's he doing to I, I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can hear a crowd noise. But if we were anywhere near our best, um, we'd have beat Man City comfortably yeah. on Sunday. You know, that they weren't they weren't very good at all. Second in the league, though, still not bad overall. No, you know, yeah, so. yeah. Let's take a reality check, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, right, on to tonight's game. Just one change then. Uh, Dutch Mike coming in for Lakin, who's going to... Yeah. Uh, the last three games has appeared. Um, you know, Med starts the last three games. Yeah. Done, done myself proud as well, the 19-year-old, to be fair. Yeah, um, the away games, I think, certainly, you know, he did enough to keep mm. his place. Um, to be fair, against Ipswich, he struggled, um, as did most of the team in that first half, and he was the one sacrificed um, in, in after after that first half against Ipswich. Good to see Kifton Bell come back in. Can we stop him from going on, Oliver? <laughs> please. <laughs> I thought he give us. Um, I thought Kifton Bell coming back in gave us a uh, gave us a more, more intensity, a bit more bite in that midfield. So it's good to have him back mm. in. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Quick assessment. Then, what do you reckon the score is going to be tonight? Uh, trouble is, you're, you're so desperate for them to get another three points on the board. You know, they, they, they've deserved it. Um, reality yeah, the says again the weekend. Yeah, that's a tenth another good chance games. for Adams in the last minute where we could have snuck it. But um, reality says I think a point would be a good result tonight. They're a strong side at home. Okay, but uh, three would be a, a, a three massive would be boost, super a massive yeah. massive bonus going into the next game. Uh, which uh, is, uh, rather room at home, home on course. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Which, which if we if we get a positive result tonight, the rather room game becomes um, even even more winnable. Yeah, did you listen to um, a local radio station on the way in tonight? No. The delusion of some people up the road is just like... No, really? Uh, yeah, it was just making me laugh. Oh, OK. Me laugh. Um, no, I didn't, yeah. I didn't listen to any of that. Uh, Orson Dukes is going 2-0 to the Blues. Let's hope, Orson, that you're the one that's right I tonight. hope so. Uh, come on, you blue boys from Amy and Andrew Boxall. And Anthony Lloyd, keep right on. Come on, Blues, three points tonight. Can, can I quickly, can we quickly say that? You can not... Qu- that's not um, a sound effect in the background. That is actual footage from the game. That's oh, actual footage that's, from the game. That's I just hope you're not breaching copyright. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> we'll be kicked off in a minute. Uh, we're going to be watching the game live on... Uh, Blues TV. Blues TV. Yeah, legally. A legal stream, a legal live legal. stream on Blues TV. Yeah. Uh, let's hope that it... Lasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we ain't going to have a lot to say at half time. <laughs> no, I have a backup. Plan, we, we'll so have we'll loads to say. Did anybody see the game? Yeah, yeah. Can anybody <laughs> help us out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody want to quickly come down? <laughs> yeah, if there's anybody local to uh, where we are tonight, if, mm. uh, if you are fortunate enough to. Uh, see the whole of the first half, then you're very welcome to come if the door's open. It's yeah. open. If it's not, it's shut. Um. <laughs> Defensively, we've been absolutely brilliant this season so far. For the majority, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we're up against a, a Brentford side that tonked us 5-0 last time we were down. Yeah, there. did the right. double over us last season we, we comfortably, yeah. That. We weren't expecting yeah. that, so I think it's time for a bit of repay tonight. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, I think there's been a... Because we signed three of their players last season, I think there's been a bit of a bit of rivalry 
uh, in, you know that that's built up between the two sides, and um, yeah, they 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 comfortably tore us apart in both fixtures last season. Yeah. So um, yeah, it'd be very nice if we if we manage to you know dig deep um, and get a positive result out of tonight. What do you think the um, the difference between the first and second half was? Do you think it was just a half time against game Ipswich? Talk or, or, yeah, against Ipswich. Yeah. Oh, I mean, after five <laughs> minutes, I was convinced we were going to win seven nil. Oh. We we you know we had three chances to score in the first five minutes. Gardner's hit the post. With there's been a goal mouth scramble, um, but from that moment on, the intensity dropped. Um, I don't know whether it was the crowd thought that we were going to get it was going to be easy. Whether the players did. Ipswich stepped it up a little bit. Not not nothing dramatic. Just just a little bit. Um, the goals we conceded were very soft. Especially the second one, a corner, and the guy's just on marks in uh, six yards out. It's a really poor goal to concede. But the second half, as you say, Kifta Bell's come in. We've made the change. Um, Do you think it was Keith that made the difference? Yeah, it? possibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, ratting around, you know, get, getting stuck does. in. Um, the early goal, scoring early on, definitely helped us. Um, you know, it gave us a platform. It gave us something to to go on for, for the second <laughs> half. Um, the changes were very good, actually. Mahoney coming on as well made a big difference. Looked threatening. Promising, isn't he? Yeah, looked two two footed. Um, good delivery from out wide. Could go left or right foot. You know, inside or outside of the uh, of the um, of the left back. So yeah, it was it was a positive second half. And as I say, we. You know, from being 2 0 down at half time, we could easily have won the game. Uh, Pete Kelly will be watching the game live on Blues TV in New Zealand. Come on, the Blues key, right? Good man, well Pete. done to you, my good man. Well done to you, and thanks for tuning into the Tilton Talk Show. Don't forget, we're going to be back at half time for a half time roundup, but then at full time for a full time analysis yeah. of the whole game. Um, like I say, hopefully our stream will. We also uh, are hoping to go live yes, to uh, Boards of Green. Yes, we are, where we're. Um, the um, live draw of the famous. Tilton have you talk? managed to get hold of Steve about my other four tickets? I'm, do, I'm going to do him now. We'll do him now. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, yeah we've got a, a draw going on tonight for the Tilton Talk. Um, signed shirt. Signed shirt. shirt. Yeah. yeah. In conjunction with Excessy Blues, I must say that. Um, in conjunction and, and I think with there's been blues. well in excess of £160 raised for that oh, shirt more, so far. Yes. So that's yeah, fantastic. fantastic. When, you, when you think that's a signed shirt for Birmingham City Football Club, right? It's, we're not talking Manchester United or Liverpool. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And it's a very, very good achievement by it the is. guys and, and certainly by uh, the Tilton Talk Show and all the effort that's been put in. Yeah. Um, on everybody to uh, to raise that cash. Yeah. Um, then we'll also be looking at Bix uh, Leukemia Fund after that. So we've got loads and loads to try and yes. get through tonight. And of course, we're supporting Kids Need Both Parents for the whole month of October. That's Kids Need Both Parents. Um, we'll be plugging them as much as we possibly can. Obviously, don't think that for a minute that we'll be forgetting our others like Excessive Blues and BHST. Yeah. Because uh, they're always in our minds, always in our yeah. thoughts for all the great, wonderful work that goes on. Definitely. And now, last night, I know I'm hurrying a little bit. Last night, I saw an appeal go out on Facebook for a gentleman who lives in Acox Green um, yeah, who's, we had, uh, who's, who's suffered a stroke to, and I've not been able to catch up today have you any updates on that whether, no not that I'm aware to, of no I think we discussed it last week as well though. we managed to get him a lift yeah. now come on look, look this is Birmingham City we're all one family uh, we've got one of our own who's stuck in Acox Green he's had a stroke so he can't drive all yeah. we want is somebody then to take him to and from the games uh, and you get a carer's ticket thrown in yeah. so you get your match pass free match pass oh is that a bad word <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's ticket. Um, so you get to, you actually get into the game free of charge anyway. So there you go. So that that will be your bonus. And, and you know relationships are struck and yeah. uh, and we involve yeah. more of our disabled uh, community. Um, and I don't see any reason why we shouldn't because I think it's absolutely fundamental that uh, you know these these people get exactly the same access as whatever mm. everybody else gets. And you never know when you're going to need it. You never know when you're going to need it. Right, the Blues Live TV stream is on and working. Yeah. And working quite well, I must add. It's uh, looking a very good picture on there. Uh, is, you've yeah, got, yeah. Uh, you've Apology got for the mixed commentary, but I have sorted that now. So um, will we be able to enlarge that? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go off air in about three or four minutes' time and uh, let you guys get on and watch the game. But don't forget, we'll be back here exactly at half-time. Yeah. Um, for a half time analysis, let's hope we're three or four nil up at half time. That'd be an absolute That'd be a nice analysis, bonus, yeah. Wouldn't mm -hmm. it? yeah. Uh, I might even have an alcohol free of beer if we do. <laughs> <clears throat> right, Adam J. Chambers. I am his driver, folks, meeting him Thursday to get it all sorted. Oh, hey, what, about hey, what about that? Absolutely man, brilliant. Absolutely man. brilliant. With it, yeah, fantastic. Cr stuff. Cracking, cracking. Do you know what? When you get a result like that, and you've you, you've you've out like by putting the appeal out, you know, mm. like goosebumps. Mm. Do you like the new tattoo, by the way? Yes. 
Bow Bromley. Bow Bromley. Proper. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Good, I don't know whether you can all see that or you can z- oh, hang on, so let's zoom in foot on the ball. Uh, need the uh, uh, well, we need to Birmingham we're welcome, bit. We've got to welcome Andrew bit. Parks to the TV screen this week. Uh, welcome to Andrew for getting the um, yeah. well, uh, caption right this week. I think that was that for. Yeah. Do, are we running a competition? We've we got a competition results. For uh, oh yes, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing half time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we we'll do that it's again at half time. All right. Okay, so it looks like the teams are going to be coming out in a few minutes' time. Yeah. Um, come on, then, lads and girls and boys. Let's have some predictions from your good selves. What do you reckon? Tonight, Brentford away, Griffin Park, under the floodlights. Um, we really, really, really could do with a win. We could. And hopefully, uh, Preston get a win. And that, do we, do, well, no, we, no. We up above them, do we? If we, if we? No, we won't. Huh? And then Preston get closer to us. So. Yeah, I know, but mm. they're going nowhere, are they? A draw. I'll have a draw at, <laughs> at, at, up the road. Um, yeah, and if we can get... To be fair, if we, if we could come away with a 1-1... One, one, um, you know, still unbeaten. Yeah. Carry on our little unbeaten run and take it into Rotherham. That's quite run impressive, Saturday. though, isn't it? That unbeaten run. Considering it's where we impressive. are in the table. Yeah. Dwayne um, Twine yeah. two one Blues. Come on, Adam J Chambers one one. Paul Gill two two. Mark Wanwell's just joined us. Greetings to you. Jez McDonough two nil. Can't see us getting anything. Ooh, two one Blues. Mister Fun to smile. It's <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, getting carried away. is going four nil. Hotter hat trick. Duke goal to finish. Wow. Ooh. Uh, Dave Sherlock could take a draw. Yeah, oh, I think I'm with Dave there. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Mm. Okay, Players so I believe the, the teams are out, are they? The teams are out. They're just lining up, so we can go a couple, couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. Yeah, minutes, couple more minutes. minutes. Let's no bleed no each other. Not a problem. Uh, Peter Hardy's gone two-one Blues. Josh Bates has gone three-one. <laughs> Bit of po- a positivity tonight. I like it's it. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Might Steve, change. Steve Maris has a draw on the cards. Andy Monterio two one to the Blues. Mm. That would be uh, the nice three 0 Blues. Harley Dean Hotter and Collins to score. Mm. And I'll Brentford tell you what, boys. Right, yeah. Stefan Malloy. No, not Stephen Pete Malloy. Taylor. Pete Taylor. Exactly. Pete Taylor. If that happens, I'll get you a beer on Saturday, mate. Yeah. You come and see me at bar eight, and I tell you what, if Harley Dean Hotter and Collins score, and we win three 0 tonight, yeah. that beer's on me on Saturday, and I'll be only too pleased to pass it over to you. Absolutely. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to let you know my brother's coming down to the uh, Rotherham game on Saturday all the way from New Zealand the one that oh, listens nice. in from New Zealand occasionally well just for the game yeah, yeah he's coming for that one game and then uh, we're popping over to my sister's house on Sunday for a bit of a, a family shindig and get together um good on you fabulous last, last time I did it I was last man standing five morning. o'clock in the morning uh, slept in a tent in the back garden <laughs> I don't think we'll be doing that this weekend <laughs> not advisable mm, dear right okay just a win will do me come on says Bill Owl. and Martin Swinsco we are blues we're going to win Stefan is over for the game from Ireland on Saturday as well that's brilliant and he'll, he'll, he's taking your offer up on that beer as well what for the if, if, if they all win 3-0 Stefan I'll buy you a beer as well everybody gets a beer if it's 3-0 and Potter, Potter, Colin and Dean all score. I'll see my brother again yeah. in 50 years yeah. time, blow yeah. it. <laughs> all right, we're just about to kick oh, off. Game yeah, on. Ready to go. And I'll, okay, I'll... we need to go then. Uh, enjoy the first half, guys. See you all back here. 45 minutes time, Jake. Uh, see you in a minute. You're listening to uh, Trevor Francis on the Tilton Talk Show. Welcome back to part two of the Tilton Talk Show on a Tuesday night. Uh, just watched that first half live from Griffin Park. Chris, give us your lowdown on it. Yeah, um, started <clears throat> scrappy. Both sides relatively sloppy in possession, but you know, though Brentford were were happier in possession. We we seem to be happy giving them the majority of the ball. They had a couple of chances, a um, couple of set pieces that they were having, um, and uh, Camp saved a, a long range shot. And from then on. We, we took control. We had a little bit of a spell in, in possession. Um, Magoma had a shot. Uh, Djukovic should have scored one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Uh, big chance um, saved by the keeper. Hotter as well. Um, uh, good, good pressing. 
Um, Keefton Bell won it into Hotter, shot saved, and then the goal. Um, you know, a, another bit of good play from Hotter. Uh, Blues win the corner, and it's his his corner, and, and Morrison flicks it in at the near post to give us the lead. Um, and a deserved lead too. Yeah, do you know what? For that five minutes before the goal, yeah, I'd say so. You know, as as much as Brentford had the majority of the ball in that first twenty minutes, um, there was only really one one effort Camp had to make had to make a save. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and in, in that five minutes, we we had we had a number of chances. Dukovic is obviously the biggest, um, and then the goal comes and we won the up. Um, but then what happened in that moment of madness Magoma giving away that free kick for a start off in that area yeah it was uh, very similar to Ipswich's first goal at the weekend um, Magoma's Magoma's been caught out being a little bit lazy a little bit slack um, waiting for the ball to come to him didn't know the player was coming over his shoulder uh, and he gives the free kick away he gets booked um, and then there was a you know the, the melee at the back post you know, it took an awful long time for the free kick to come. A lot of, a lot of nonsense going on at the back mm. post. The Brentford right back Which gets we booked. We couldn't see, could we? No, oh, but well. the Brentford right back gets booked apparently for a push on Morrison, I think. Um, yeah, but everything's going on at that back post, and then McEachran swings it in front post, and and unfortunately, unfortunately, we had a little debate, right? Yeah, now, should somebody have been on that front post? It's, that's not and if possi- some, if possibly if isn't on that front post then is it the goalkeeper's responsibility yeah absolutely so he's got to take that one he full has. on the nose for that one yes uh, Chris Woodley can't wait for Nick to defend that absolute clowning goal I can't defend him because that was a, an absolutely poor goal to give away yeah poor goal to yeah, give away yeah it was after we'd commanded so much of that game yeah so, yeah, so, it's, so much it's, that it's, again so, Monk will be disappointed that in a game where we've created chances again We've scored one of them. Yeah. We're in control. We're, you know, we're in. We're ahead. We're winning in the game, um, and then we give away a really sloppy Absolutely goal. Absolutely, should be two, three, maybe even four. One up at this stage. <sighs> yeah, Djukovic's chance. Um, you know, you'd have thought he scored two at the weekend. You'd have thought he'd be absolutely flying with confidence. Um, to be fair, the keepers come out quickly, but Djukovic shouldn't be giving him a chance there. I don't think. Um, Magoma, good play from Adams down the right hand side, ball across the goal. Magoma's done the hard bit. Mm. You know, we've criticised him for being lazy for for giving away the free kick for their goal. He's done the hard bit. In, in he, you know, he's got ahead of the ahead of the full back. Mm. He's got his toe to it and unfortunately he skewed it wide and again I think Gary will be will be really, really disappointed that you know, we we've we've played well away from home. We've done okay. We've created chances. We've only scored one of them, and we've given a sloppy goal away. Dean Williams said, "Foolish free kick to give away uh, frustration for his miss." I can't. I can't. No, can't I, hold that, I don't though. think it was frustration missed, for his miss. You've got to pick yourself up, get yourself on, and your next tackle, your next charge. No matter what it is, you've got to be absolutely bang on with it. Yeah, I, th- I think it's just. I think it's just a bit of you know a bit of slack. <laughs> Yeah, that's like I said, Magoma really was. You you could throw that at him for the first goal against Ipswich on Saturday as well. You know, he waited for the ball to come to him. It's nipped away from him, and Ipswich went up the other end and scored. <coughs> um, again, here the ball's nipped away from him, and and he's brought the Brentford player down, got himself a yellow card, but you know, more costly for Blues. He's he's given away a free kick, which they've scored from. And uh, okay, well let's have a look at Camp. I mean. He, he... He got look what seemed to get two hands to it. Is it yeah, and it's it an error. Gone straight through him. It's an error. Gone straight through him. It is an error. Um, it's an error that he will be disappointed about certainly. Because you know, I mean, I'm being funny. I, I, th- I think I think we, you, you mentioned men on the post. I think that's the keeper's decision whether he wants a man on the front post. Right. So if he doesn't have a man on that front post, it is and that goes it in, is to protect. it's your fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like you say, he's got his hands to it. Uh, Steve Tarbuck says Camp punched the ball into his own net. Should have caught that one. I totally agree. And it wasn't. It wasn't as though it was flying, was it? Really? Uh, it was going at a, a I rat, mean, but... look. Yeah, that's that's uh, maybe a little bit more of a difficult one to throw at him, but. Um, listen. The the reality is he should have saved it. He know he'll know that he should have he saved it. He hasn't made it. many mistakes, has he? No, I think. No. Yeah, I think really that's his. Yeah. That's the second second major mistake. Um, mm. But again, what, who are you going to throw in? Uh, Brett Stanley says, "Can we leave the camp comments till later? It's half time. It might. Um, uh, oh, it's going. Everything's going too fast. Awfully sorry." Mm. 
Uh, where's that gone to? Uh, it might not matter in the end. We could win three one yet. Well, I hope it. I hope. Right. I hope it. Do, I hope it does. I hope it does render itself irrelevant uh, because we go on to win the game. And Adam Wilkes says more viewers tonight than on Monday. Trillion trophy tilt and talk Tuesdays. Oh dear! Oh dear! Um, I dare say Monk's going to have a few words with him at uh, uh, half time. I th- I th- right. Do you know? I think. I think it's just that. You know, you've 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 worked hard. You know, you you. I mean, we had to we had to chase them down quite a bit in the first twenty minutes. Uh, their their right hand mm. side looks dangerous with Canos mm. um, down the right hand side. Magoma and Pedersen are having a little bit of of an issue with Canos in the first fifteen minutes, mm. um, positionally. Uh, so you know, so you you've done the hard job. You're away from home. You've you've stuck it out for that first fifteen minutes. You've got yourselves a stranglehold on the game. You've got back into it. You've got your goal, and and you you, you let it slip with such a such a silly goal to give away, and you know they could have scored again just before half time as well. But there are positives there certainly. Hotter's Hotter's looking terrific, um, really oh, lively, cracking game, really yeah. dangerous. Uh, set pieces are looking dangerous. Every time we throw the ball in the box, they look a little bit. A, li- a little bit anxious, a little bit nervy about what to do with it. So there's certainly positives to mm. take from that first. Time. A great call here from Kevin Kelly. Look at all the mistakes by goalkeepers. They appear to be major, but it's a series series of errors that leads to the goal. Yeah, absolutely nobody right. nobody's having a pop at camp for letting in at the front post if Magoma doesn't give the free kick away. But but the reality is that the free kick, you know, especially the the length of time that they took to take the free kick as well. So everybody, you know, there's all that nonsense going on at the back post. Um, and then he sticks it front post and, and they get the equaliser. Yeah, and uh, somebody has confirmed, I can't see who it was, that it is. Yeah, yeah Stephen Gill, goalkeeper's decision to uh, have a man on the front yeah. post. So, yeah. um, so, so if it yeah, goes yeah. in your front post, it's your. you've <laughs> got you nobody said, else yeah. to blame. So despite a few people think that I was going to defend Camp for that one, sorry, I can't. Yeah. Can't. Yeah. You know. However, 45 to go. Um, are the players out yet, mister? No, they're not out yet, no. Not out yet. We've no. only had a few. Sorry, run down to the half times. Yeah. Yep, sure. Oh, yeah, do that, do that, please. Yeah, by the way, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, half times in the championship. Uh, in, across... the st- in the style of a proper professional oh, okay. football. Right, uh, yeah. Where? Uh, the English Championship. Aston Villa 2, Preston North End 0. <coughs> Brentford 1, Birmingham 1. Hull City 0, Leeds United 0. Ipswich Town 0, Middlesbrough 2. Wigan Athletic nil, Swansea City nil, Reading nil, Queens Park Rangers nil is the latest score, and Stoke City one, Bolton Wanderers nil yeah, is don't. also a latest score. Well, there you go. Okay. Do you think this is something we could probably probably do again in the future? But yes, definitely. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this tonight. tonight. Yeah. If the people want it, people want it. It's, let yeah. the people decide. Yeah, let the Absolutely. people decide. Yeah. The people. But it's it's quite nice to actually, you know, because we don't get to, uh, spend a lot of social time together anyway. Mm. Like we normally see each other on a Monday, boom, 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 yeah. boom, and then we say to her right at the end of it. So it's quite nice to actually sit here, watch a football game. Yeah. Um, do fifteen minutes, fifteen, and then you know another. However long at, at, at the end of the match, yeah, um, and it's been quite quite interesting, yeah. t- sort of taking it on board in a different perspective, if you know what I mean. Mm, I'm hoping mm. to get the live link any second. So if you carry on, um, live link any second. Filling, oh, mm. uh, right, okay. What about oh, everybody's Paul Gill? Do it, do it, do it. We're going to be on every night soon, aren't we? Mm, I know, yeah. You got any spare beds? Well, that's the <laughs> 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 way to best go yeah, off. Gary Toro, yes, we definitely want it. Uh, Daniel Deans, we don't want it with a smiley face. Yeah, you? no no problems, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, still another 45 minutes to go. Come on, Blues from Ben Tolly. And uh, Jez McDonough, you should do a Monday show on a Saturday games and do a show midweek games. <sighs> Jess McDonald is going to sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> oh, well, and then, was okay. it? we got a link. Okay, so here we, here we go. If it works, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh. Well, hey, here we go. Well, there you go. And in this section, the uh, draw was made uh, for the Tilton Talk Accessi Blues uh, shirt, signed shirt, uh, which. 
has raised over £260. And the winner of the shirt was Jeremy and Brenda. There you go. That was exciting, wasn't it? Thanks for that, guys. Uh, there you go. Brenda and Jeremy. Ticket number 109 has won the uh, Birmingham City shirt. And if I heard right, over £250. Pounds, £250. £250, 250 yeah. quid for a Birmingham City shirt. Well done. What an effort. That's what an effort. Fantastic. And it's also great to see the kids down there tonight as well uh, yeah. joining in. Do you know what? I think this is going to grow. I hope so. I genuinely think this I is going to grow. I can't believe that worked. I think this is going to grow, Chris. We better really 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 prepare for this because <laughs> this is going to get more and more anyway we're going to go back to the uh, second half of the game right now I'll so we'll see you back if, uh, here on, absolutely at the, the end uh, of the game the pitch, um, the let's yeah. just hope and pray that uh, things go our way here absolutely. we go right okay yeah, we'll okay. see you in what, see 45, 45 minutes you're listening to uh, Trevor Francis on the Tilton Talk Show Love you, what more can we say Welcome back to Tuesday night's uh, Trillion Trophy Super Special. Um, <laughs> Tuesday tanking. All the T's. Oh, dear. Okay, so uh, a red card for Keith. Gary Monk sent off. It all happens to the Blues, doesn't it? That, it's never it, boring. Never boring, never, never boring. boring. Um, up the road, a cabbage thrown on the pitch. Um, <laughs> uh, and a last-minute penalty saved by Preston to... Um, yeah, no, apparently so. <laughs> however, however, let's talk about our game. Now, that second half pretty much epitomised the first to me. Um, in many respects, apart from the fact that the officials seem to have lost the plot completely. Yeah, um, yeah. The the second half started very similar um, to the first half. Brentford having a lot of the ball, um, causing a few problems. Um, you know, Camps made a. Uh, a couple of saves I mean, early that on. One, that one save that he made late on. Oh, wow. you, well, it's no, brilliant. It's, it's a brilliant tip over. Didn't um, make up for the goal, don't get me wrong. No, no, but, you know, if he doesn't save that, we lose the we game, lose the game. And, yeah. and, and he's criticised even more. So um, he's made a really good save at the end. But, yeah, the game the game is spoiled. It's completely changed with 25 minutes to go. Any, any hope of winning the game goes as soon as that happens. Um, off, off camera... So I've absolutely no idea whether it was justified or not. So I can't I can't say the ref has made the wrong decision. Well, the referee hasn't made a decision. The referee has gone has left it to the fourth purely official. on what yep. the fourth <clears throat> official has told him. It was right under the fourth official's nose. It was right under Gary Monk's nose. Um, but sometimes all I would say is sometimes you can tell um, by the players' reactions and. Our boys were fuming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely fuming. Um, and obviously Monk is, Monk is really angry as well because he's been sent to the, sent from the touchline. And apparently had a stand innovation off our fans as he walked past them. Right, well. Uh, so I was keeping yeah. up to date on Twitter what yeah. was going as well. Uh, and as he, as he walked past the uh, the away end, which was obviously out, yeah, out a lot, yeah. um, they stood up and applauded him. They love him. They yeah. love him. But um, so you know, but the game the game ends as a spectacle there, uh, and from that moment on, you're 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 hoping for a, we can hold on for a point, and, mm. and we have done. Um, so that's that's another game unbeaten. Um, we've spent well, there was seven minutes added on, so actually we've spent half an hour defending yeah. for our lives yeah. against a Brentford side away from home, and we've managed to hold on for another point. Defended very well, actually, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I thought Morrison and Dean were magnificent. Morrison was just outstanding. Both of them, yeah. super. Morrison won pretty much every header that he had to win. Um, I thought they were both really excellent. Um, you know, and and the front boys worked hard. Um, you know, they, like I said, for that last half hour, you, you weren't getting any... 
they weren't going to get any service. You know, we weren't looking at, at scoring really. We weren't really in the game to break away. Um, but yeah, um, the back four very good and. And we, and we go on and, and we, it's another point, it's another game unbeaten and although we lose Keith Dunbeld for the Rotherham game and Monk for the unless Rotherham of game. Unless course is a, uh, an appeal. Yeah, un- unless, yeah. But um, uh, doubt, doubt for I'm not sure how, because it's quite a quick turnaround, isn't it, for Rotherham now. So Very much so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we shall say. Well, last time we were at Griffin Park, we came away uh, with five goals smashed yeah. past us. Uh, this time it's a 1-1 draw. Uh, Different characters. We score a good goal. Look, yeah, their goal was a good goal. He took it well, right? He took it well. Yeah. Even though you know we are we are saying that Camp was to blame for it partially. McGomer, if he hadn't done what he'd done, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like you say, it's a series of things that go on. Uh, but um, to come away from Brentford tonight with a one-one draw is not going to sound too bad. No, I think I think mm-hmm. t- you know teams will get teams will get beat comfortably down at Brentford this season. Mm. Um, you know, and and like I said, to play for. <clears throat> What was in the end half an hour with ten men, um, yeah, you know, under, under the lights with the, with their crowd getting behind them, mm. it, it's a very good point in the end. As Daryl Arnold says, a great fighting spirit, which is what it's all we asked for in it. And yeah, you, know, you mentioned the the game last season. We we got beat five, and and there wasn't that. There didn't seem to be that fighting spirit, that character. And a good point here as well. Pat Patterson unbeaten by the top six. Well, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no mm. Middlesbrough not in the top six. We'll take that. Uh, no, don't know. No. I'd have thought. I think Middlesbrough. Final scores tonight. Yes, I can get that for you. I'm pretty sure Middlesbrough in the top six, but unless you mean unbeaten in our last six, you know, which the, I believe the, is the, the case. The general feeling of the of the comments that are coming through. It's a great point away from home with ten men. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. men and no manager on the on, on the bench. It's it's some it's something to hold on to, isn't it? You know, it's it's a positive and and, and we go into the Rotherham game with more positivity mm. now on Saturday. Have you, uh, given, have you given all the scores yet? I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you want me to? Yeah, go on. Yeah, uh, uh, Villa three, <laughs> Preston three. <laughs> 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 um, Brentford one, Blues one, Hall nil, Leeds one, Ipswich nil, Middlesbrough two, Wigan nil, Swansea nil, uh, Reading nil, QPR one is in the 90th minute, and Stoke two, Bolton nil is also in the 90th minute. It means that Blues sit 18th uh, on 11 points. Um, Millwall occupy the last drop zone space on six points. So we're five points off that now. But uh, QPR ahead of us on 13. Stoke also on 13. Bolton. And then a whole host of teams on 15. Up to 10th place is exactly. so, on so 15 look, points. A, a so if we, beat, if we beat Rotherham and go to 14, yeah. we're, we're a win away from, uh, as stupid as it sounds, I'm not saying that know, we're anywhere don't, near don't that. Don't say it, don't say but, it. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, not, we're not far away from everybody else. Yes. You know, and and that's you know as disappointing is that we've, you know, we we still only won one game this season. You know, this little unbeaten run that we've gone on, you're picking up points. You're not losing every single game, and you know you, you give yourselves a chance to stay Do you in know the what mix. I think we're picking up as well as team spirit and confidence. Yeah, you, you, you know, can, can uh, see it from as, as Keefton Bell gets sent off, you you could imagine under previous managers that we've had, um, we'd have, we could have easily have crumbled there. And lost two or three one tonight, um, but yeah, they've worked hard um, and they've defended. Like I said, they defended really, really well. The, really, the only there's there's two saves I can think I can remember from camp. The one from a Canyos volley low down, which he tipped round the post, and then one. and then the header, which is is tipped over the bar, um, yeah. which is a really good save. Like I say, so. Okay. Hmm. Uh, but apart from you know, for half an hour. With ten men, and they've only forced two good mm. saves out of camp. I think. I think your credit. Yeah, ben Pickering your credit made the, the ten boys. Camp made up for it in the second half with that tip over the bar, quality I save. So. Yeah, it was quality a quality save. save. Yeah. Um, Addy yeah. of Addy of concentrated on that one in the first half. We could have come away where. Well, it's a different game, isn't different it? Game, and you yeah. don't know what happens. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I'd I'd love to see the. Hats off to Brucey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see the Keith and Bell incident again. I don't think we're going to get to see it. Um, the, the single camera that Sky have got there is yeah. the one that we, we had access yeah, to. Yeah, and, was a, and you, a don't, bit. you don't see any of it. It was uh, certainly off the left-hand side, bottom corner of the camera. Yeah. And then, of course, obviously, we, don't, we can't see or, or, or interpret what Gary Monk is saying to the fourth official. 
in in well in, in, I in, think in we terms can, you should never say we anything. We can have a guess at what he said to the fourth official to be sent off, but um But there you go, girls and boys. That's how we treat our manager. He gets sent off from the field of play and he gets a standing ovation mm. on the way out. Mm. No cabbages, a standing <laughs> ovation. That's what we are. We're blues. We do it our way. Can we quickly say um, uh, big up to Accessi Blues who, who helped to raise all that money? Absolutely brilliant, Absolutely. wasn't it? Two hundred and fifty pounds for the shirt. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy winning it. Yep, Jeremy winning it with uh, ticket one zero nine. Uh, the next thing we've got to big up now is uh, Bix Leukemia. We're going to do that. Yeah, but Run, we'll do yeah. this month for October. We're going to do kids. Kids. Team. Uh, kids need both parents yeah, all, yeah. all the rest of the month we'll be plugging yeah. away at that one and yeah. uh, anybody else wants their charities uh, mentioning or anybody mentioning any birthdays etc 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 please 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 just get in touch and yeah. we'll do and we'll do it for you 250 quid raise for the Br- 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 Birmingham That's homeless for, yeah oh, it's really? from you Chris Brown <laughs> 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 uh, Paul Barlow can't wait for Davison Vassal to be back that's going to liven things up a, a little bit in the in the middle and the front end yeah yeah possibly um, yeah and I thought Adams and, and Djokovic were hard again you know Duke probably should have scored his one on one early on in the game but um, I think I think as much as it's as much as you come away, you know, you can look at those chances in the first half and think we could have been, we could have been two or three up, mm. but actually the the way the game went, um, it's it's a very good point. I think we got to, we got to walk away happy with that draw. I think yes, um, yeah, I think so, and I, and I think and I think I think realistically, you know, a, a lot of people were saying at the start of the game, you know, we we probably would have taken a point hmm. before the game was played anyway, so. Um, yeah, we we move on now to Rotherham on Saturday, which is a winnable game. Um, if we can win that, you know, it's you're you're really pushing on then, and you're showing that, you know, that's another game that you haven't lost. Uh, Middlesbrough top four, by the way, not top six. So it's okay. We lost against Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other five that certainly haven't uh, haven't beaten us. Yeah. Uh, but now what we've got to do as as a team, uh, and we are and well, we're table team at the minute is to pick off these lower. That's where you start going yeah, from seventeenth yeah. and eighteenth to tenth, eleventh, ninth, tenth, eleventh. You know, if you start yeah. beating the t- likes of Rotherham at home and and making these performances, turning these good performances where you deserve a win into wins, then that's where we can start picking up. Stephen wants to know what the Villa score was. It was cabbage one potato. We've got to say a big, massive shout out to um, Christine Hobro. It's a birthday on Saturday. Oh, many happy returns to uh, Christine on Saturday. Ray. Ray's almost the fourth Lovely. Beatle. Hopefully, I'll see you at yeah. bar eight. Bar and eight. I'll, I'll give a, a quick mention to uh, my mate Tom, Tom Kearns, uh, who was went on holiday to America with his girlfriend uh-huh. uh, and came back engaged. Did he? he proposed to well done. proposed to Becky in Central Park. So yeah. congratulations, oh, Tom. Did you nice. do any of that? No. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. Oh, I'm sensible. <laughs> Middlesbrough second? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul Gill says, can't wait to play Brentford at home. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. going to be interesting, isn't well, it? Well, listen, listen, mm-mm, you mm-mm, know... Mm-mm. Um, Kifton Bell's incident was with um, Neil Mopay, their striker. Yeah. And then he was caught up in a tangle with Harley Dean at the end as well. Mm-hmm. I think he was trying to get Harley Dean into a bit of trouble. So well, I think Mopay and the officials my, destroyed, all my just, advice, destroyed that game. To all my advice to Blues fans would be is remember the name Neil Mopay mm-hmm. for later on in the season and give him both barrels when he turns up. Hmm. Not literally, please. No, no. no, no. Cabbages at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody put on Twitter, she says, I can't even get my deodorant into a football game. How oh, do you no. sneak a cabbage in? And it wasn't it must a be an, cabbage. It must be an inside job. I've, I've, seen, I've seen a photograph of it. It was as big as Bruce's foot. <laughs> like, like, you know, round, if you know what I mean. How do you get a cabbage in? Oh, yeah. This was before the game started as well. And, what, and the thing oh, really? is, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. get stopped... What's your excuse? Um, oh, Half time snack. Just went shopping. I went shopping before the game. Yeah. Popped into and I completely forgot <laughs> yeah. that I have this, this cabbage. cabbage under my yeah. armpit. Oh, this cabbage. I you thought mean this it was. One? I carry this around with me everywhere. <laughs> you mean Brian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Three why years. on earth, the, big, the biggest question should be why on earth is oh. Glenn Whelan taking that penalty? Yeah. They've uh, got a penalty in the good, last minute. Good. Their whole array of attacking players oh. and Glenn Whelan steps up. What? Mm. Paul Gill, Villa Park is full of cabbages. Absolutely correct and wonderful. And Leroy, great point. Christine Hobro joined. We've just wished you a happy birthday for Saturday. Christine, I'll probably see you at bar eight on Saturday at some point. Uh, see if I can get that over early. Ah, well, what a Tuesday night this has been. Yeah. Full of drama, it's full been of events, full. Three two talk eventful, shows. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lucky Devils. Devils. Yeah. Keep the bell sent off, the manager sent off, cabbages thrown at Steve Bruce, <laughs> missed a penalty in the 95th yeah. minute. Um, it's but just, a point, another it's point been, on the board. Another point, you know what, well, that's the most important thing for tonight, actually. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Another point on the board. Yeah. Uh, positivity going into Saturday yeah. now. Um, okay. I'll go. You've I'll got... go three 0 on Saturday. Can Quick we, predictions for can, Rotherham. Can we go two, two, yeah. three more minutes? Yeah. Three more minutes. Okay. Number one predictions for Rotherham, and number yeah. two, anything to do with vegetables and football. Oh anything God. to do with vegetables and football for the last couple of minutes, please, please, please. <laughs> uh, Paul wants to know uh, any news on the twelve point deduction. It's uh, no, nothing. 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 nothing, uh, nothing no. Anyway, yeah. uh, Craig says uh, cabbages do not deserve this abuse. No, Thank that's you. true. <laughs> <laughs> True. Justice for the cabbages. Uh, justice yeah. for the cabbage one. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Take a draw. Poor, Poor cabbage. cabbage, Dean Williams. Uh, Blues three, Rotherham one. That's from Darren Bibb. Uh, oh, Jasper Carrot. Here we go. They're oh, coming in. Yeah. They come, of course. Yeah, ex Blues uh, chairman. Technically not a player. Well, no, anything to do with football, but he was Blues ex chairman. <laughs> Karen okay. Brady lost my so, No, no. <laughs> Dean Gherkin, Harley Bean. <laughs> 4 0 to Blues from Andrew Boxall. 2 1 to Blues. Saturday, keep right on. 2 1 to Blues. Ben Pickering. Yeah, that was yeah. also Keith Farley. 2 1. Um, <laughs> anything to do with vegetables? And Have you got any? No, no I haven't got I'm any. Too, no, no, yeah. After that. I'm going nowhere near this topic. No, no, Definitely no. not. It always seems to lead on to one yeah, theme. I know, yeah. X. Basically, whatever whatever subject you use, yeah. one person's name keeps yeah. coming up. Well, it hasn't so far, has it? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. What was it? Then? No, you oh, don't no, need it. I can't repeat oh, it. It's yeah. an off air subject. Robbie Cabbage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Robbie That's very topical. Cabbage. That wins That's it. very topical. That's Jess McDonough. Well done. Disciplinary panel meet this month. Apparently, says Kev Kelly to decide the punishment and or fine. Okay, so... Wait with that one. Well, no, next breath. month then. Uh, one one to the referee from Robert Daw. Three nil to the cabbage. Keep right on. Um, turn up the vile manager. <laughs> yes, I remember him. What was his name? Graham Taylor. Yeah, Graham Taylor, of course. Yeah. Uh, Magoma's got a pineapple on his head. <laughs> we don't care, do they? Eh? They just no, don't care. I don't care no. uh, I hope people have enjoyed tonight. And, do you know what? I've actually enjoyed diff- tonight. It's been very different yeah, and yeah. And nice that we've been able to do like a, a before an intermediate treatment yeah, and after. Yeah. After a show, and if um, if you want this to happen again, then yeah. what you got to in do? a just people beggars. Always, yeah. yeah, in people a more public do. place as well, maybe possibly. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah, unfortunately, somebody was on holiday, and we didn't have time to yeah. sort of move all the uh, <laughs> possibly a pub up so Look, somewhere. I have another Dave 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 everybody down. Dave Peasant, Dave Peasant. I was in yeah, Peasant. Um, yeah, yeah. Messi or Ronaldo? Don't get that one. Uh, round of applause for the cabbage of the 94th minute and to the Tilton oh god yeah. Ooh, you're going too fast again bless you <laughs> to the Tilton faithful let's get behind the lads and sing our art so uh, as one on Saturday from Tony Fuller couldn't agree more mate mm. uh, get that credit St Andrews on your side and I tell you what boom that's like an extra goal sometimes isn't it mm. oh, uh, big good up show again lads tonight. from Ooh. JBT Razy yeah the fans tonight by the way uh, Dennis asked if I'm still yeah. sober yes Dennis I've been sober <laughs> Most of the day, actually. Well done. <laughs> uh, does Chris Q recall the Figo and Pig's Head incident? I do. Real Madrid and Barcelona, yeah. Figo and Pig's Head Yeah, he went to Real Madrid from Barcelona, uh, and on his return, he went to take a corner and they threw a pig's head at him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mark Wommel said last, and he was a Swede. <laughs> He Leak. was a Swede. Leak. Actually, Leak. geographically correct, he was a Swede. Have, yeah. you, have, you, have you done this one? Leak camp? 
Leak, leak camp. camp. Oh, oh, very good. Yeah. Oh, that's you see, we haven't got Jack, Jack and Doy anymore, haven't no. we? So I think, you know, no, we've, we've right, got to make yeah. some out of Leak camp on these last 15 minutes where we normally uh, Tony Fuller Sing for the lads, I'm absolutely sure we're going to do that. Anyway, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you on a Tuesday night. Chris Buth, thanks ever so much. Thank you. For your wonderful analysis as well for taking all the notes all night. Chris Brown, thank you ever so much for coming back up holiday. And from me, <laughs> thanks for coming back up holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and from me, we'll see you all next Monday. If you see us, any of us down the blues on Saturday, give us a shout and uh, always come and Block say hello. 16. Block 16. Block 16. I don't know where I'll be yet, so, but I'll be at car eight, season car, tickets. Car 8 before the game. So, uh, yeah. anybody, Jeff Horse, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> James B. Root. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kev says, what did Keith do to get sent off? Kiev, do to get sent off? We don't know yet. We'll find out, I'm sure. Anyway, let's hope for a win on Saturday. Um, unbeaten at home so far in the whole season. Let's keep that going. Thank you ever so much for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you joining in tonight and making mm. this an absolute super special. Yep. And we'll see you back here next Monday, hopefully in three points in the bag. And hopefully a red card to overturn. Okay, yeah, keep right on. Cheers. And good night. <laughs> 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 oh, you've got the real one there. Yeah. Following the blues, we love you, what more can we say?